guys, Sal here. So Google Pixel devices have a history of leaking out entirely months before the official unveiling. In fact, we have review videos of the Pixel 3 a couple of months before Google even announced it. This year, however, Google accepted the leak culture and started leaking the Pixel 4 on their own. The Pixel 4 will be launched in October, but Google has already revealed how it's named, how it's gonna look from the back, and even some of the key highlight features. That, however, didn't stop leakers from leaking the Pixel 4 entirely, because today we have hands-on videos of both the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XLs that shows the hands from all angles. The first impression, it doesn't look as bad as I was expecting it to look like when we first saw the renders of this handset. I mean, just look at this. But in reality, it doesn't look bad. Yes, it's not the best looking phone out there, but I wouldn't call this ugly by any means. It looks perfectly fine to me and looks million times better than the Pixel 3 XL. Anyway, the first thing you're gonna notice is that Google has ditched the two-tone back finish for a regular glass lap, which actually makes the handset look good. The two-tone finish look good as well but I prefer this plain glass over the two-tone glass on any given day. Coming to the rear camera, I'm not really a fan of it, it doesn't look good, but it doesn't look as bad either as I was expecting initially. By the way, you can see that the square camera bump also appears to be manageably thin. At the front, there's a huge bezel up top and a narrow chin at the bottom. Again, it looks million times better than the Pixel 3 XL's bathtub notch. Google could have reduced the top bezel a little more, but since it actually contains a lot of components inside, including the Soli radar chip, which will enable touchless gestures on the device so I guess it's acceptable for them to have this bezel up top. The video also confirms that there's no headphone jack on the device which is not surprising at all because Pixel 2 and Pixel 3 didn't have it either. All in all the Pixel 4 turned out way better than what I was expecting. Google has done a good job this time I guess compared to last year's design nightmare with the Pixel 3 XL. The Soli radar chip is the key highlight feature of the Pixel 4, which enables you to control the device with gestures such as you can skip songs, snooze alarms, or silence your phone calls with a wave of your hand. It also enables you to unlock the phone securely with your face. But it looks like this key feature won't work in all countries. Pixel 4's Best Buy landing page shows a disclaimer which reads that the motion sense will be limited to select countries. It won't work in Japan. Instead, Google will enable this feature in the US, Canada, Singapore, Australia, Taiwan, and most European countries. We still don't know why it's limited, and I guess we have to wait for more information on this. It would be unfair to people who buy Pixel 4 and doesn't get motion sense. The way I see it, most people are excited about the motion sense on the Pixel 4 and it would be interesting to see how this is gonna affect their purchasing decision. Anyway, for all the coverage on the Pixel 4, please consider subscribing and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.